Ashley from Wilmington, Delaware, has this question for Pat. I have a question regarding God is love, and the Bible says that he is the same today, yesterday, and forever. If this is the case, then why in Deuteronomy 21 does God command that children who are rebellious and disobedient be stoned to death? And then in Luke 15, Jesus tells the story of the prodigal son. They seem so opposite, and I don't quite understand it. Could you please explain that? You remember the prodigal son, uh, his father divided the inheritance, and he went out and wasted his substance with riotous living. He was living with prostitutes. He was out drinking and partying, and he, and he gave up all of his money, and then he wound up in a pigsty, and he was so hungry he would have eaten the cobs that the pigs were eating. Now, that's one. The other you're asking about rebellious children, and the Bible says, look, if a son is rebellious and he will not take discipline, if he curses his mother and father, if he's uh, just intent on doing evil, uh, you don't necessarily just leave him alone. You take him out and stone him to death. Now, you tell me about stopping teenage delinquency. That would do it in a heartbeat. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know that there's any problem that God says he, he's a loving. But look, he's a judge. And, you know, you, there, there has to be some punishment for sin and evil. And that doesn't mean God doesn't love people. But it means in order to maintain a normal working uh, universe, there has to be rewards to good people and punishment for bad people. And God knows how to do that. But he is, in the nature, he's not just love being, he's love itself. And that's the thing. You know, we'll never know love till we know God. He, we know the essence of love. He is love itself. And that's how we, we learn love. But part of love is discipline. And you ask about discipline, well, that's what happened in the Old Testament. That doesn't negate his loving nature at all. It just means that's what happened to teenagers who misbehaved. And uh, let me tell you, uh, you take one kid out in a, in a neighborhood and, and he, his parents said, oh, he won't listen to us. He curses his mother. He beats up his father and mother. Uh, he's rebellious. And uh, there's nothing we can do with him. He's not... The prodigal son repented. He was sorry and, and asked for forgiveness. The other guy didn't ask for any forgiveness at all. And, and that's in the Bible. And I tell you, you'd stop an end to delinquency, drug addiction, alcoholism, and all the rest if some of those things were put into practice today. <laughs> but I, don't put me on record as stoning teenagers. That, that would not be, that, that's not what we're going to do here in America. We're not going to do that. All right. I think too many parents try to be friends it, they try to be friends with their sons and daughters instead of parents, and yeah, it's such a fine line. Parent, there has to be discipline. But the, the, the one in the Bible was the, the, the parents come with the kid, and the kid is cursing his parents. He's beating up his mother. And he won't listen to any rebuke or any discipline. We're so thankful for you, and we hope you enjoyed watching. Watch more by clicking here.